this is your boy Brainiac coming back with another flawless video here. Now, the starting of this video, I'm just gonna say, yeah, this is preparing for bags. Now, if you guys aren't, you know, knowledgeable on airbag suspension, you shouldn't kind of watch this video. But if you do want it and you have a Mazda or any other kind of car, look in the bags. Coilovers are nice, but tell me this. Coilovers, they probably feel good. I don't like coilovers, they're too bouncy. It's just not me. I want a comfortable ride that I can drive average, take it to the track, do anything I want. And I don't have to rip my, or jack my car up, rip my wheels off and adjust it with spanner wrenches. Now, the bags that I'm getting are $3,400. That's crazy, but listen, a nice set of coilovers are about a grand. But I'm just saying, save up that extra, you know, whatever yours costs, but for the Mazda, it's $3,400. That's with the tank, everything from Bag Riders. It's amazing. And shout out to you Bag Riders for this being the first part of the video. And I don't even have the bags yet, hoping to get them soon. But I'm gonna show you what I'm doing in my trunk. That wooden layout, love it so much. The wooden layout is just amazing. And you can do it from Lowe's for less than $30. And it's just amazing. So I'm gonna show you the steps, how to do this. And we're just gonna have fun. I'm just not gonna go too in depth. I'm just gonna show you what I did. And if you have some knowledge in your head, it's going to take $30, these wooden slabs from Lowe's, a marker, and any kind of saw to cut it precisionly. And if you want to take the next step, smooth it down with um, your uh, P80 grit sandpaper until it's nice and smooth, which y'all like smooth edges, you know what I'm saying? And it's kind of weird. I'm sitting in the back of my car, usually I show the front off. Uh, I do got like some demon eye looking headlights that come with the car. I, I these I love these man. I will never touch these. These are just so sick looking. So let's get this video started, and I hope you guys do enjoy my next video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Deuces, people. All right, my boys. Before we actually do anything from the last job or the last video that I made, that is probably up. I don't know. Uh, our whole bench is a wreck. And for us to actually work and maneuver around here, every mechanic knows we gotta clean this guy up. So, in the snap of my fingers, this guy will be clean. One, two, all right guys. I know I said it would be clear in a snap, but guess what, I took everything out of the trunk. But we did clean up, straightened everything out. Yeah. You guys wanna check me out on Facebook? I live stream when I'm doing stuff, just to have some fun. But. Trunk is clear, we can get started. Now, the back of my trunk, don't know if you can see it well, has inserts. We're gonna pull them all out, tape them together, and then lay the wood on top. So, let's get start doing that. All right guys, I don't think you guys could see here, but we have to unbolt this back piece because in order to make the layout. All right guys, we got the inserts out of the car, which is Amazing, and this is the back of my trunk. If you guys never seen it on Mazda 3, Mazda Speed, whatever you want to call it. Then, down here, we got our thing laid out for the back of the trunk. Here's the wood, and I'll go in depth. Which wood, how much, this was reduced because I think it was damaged. Oh well, we're gonna work with it. 12 bucks, can't beat it. I'm gonna grab some wood glue here, focus. Yeah, I'll show you guys step by step how to do this. Just relax, kick back, and watch. Okay guys, now you just gotta lay it down like that. And we're gonna go along the edges and trace with a Sharpie. This is the back side, by the way, because I knew I was gonna do the Sharpie route. And when we're done with the Sharpie route, we'll just take, seriously, these apart and cut them hand, well, piece by piece. So let's start that process of tracing.
Alrighty guys, it's time to start the process of cutting. So let's grab our pieces of wood individually and let's start slicing and dicing and let's get this in the trunk. All right, my dudes, we are test fitting two pieces that we have cut and they've came out beautifully and they click into place. The only thing is when we get them all and we click them in place, we gotta take it all out again because we just wanted to check the fitment for one and after the fitment, then we take the step of gluing that sucker together and he's finally complete now you want to let that sit for about 24 hours I would let it sit outside the trunk but I'm gonna put it in the trunk just so it does keep its shape and keep its mold and I know nothing's gonna go back there and yeah let's continue cutting my dude Alright guys, this is what I thought was gonna happen. Now, this glue right here, it does say, you know, for this strength bonding, I honestly did not like this wood glue. In my sense, you're gonna laugh at me, but I laid it down and I super glued the pieces together, cause super glue, which Gorilla Glue holds anything, no offense. So pick up yourself some Gorilla Glue, or wooden glue by Gorilla Glue. You know what I'm saying? And look at how fresh this guy came out, dudes. It's so sick looking. I'm gonna go in a little bit more depth. Let's make a cool freaking intro for this video off of this. And you guys will see it at the end of this video too. So I got a little bit more to say to you. Give me one second. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Ugh, words, man. Clean up the garage, make sure everything's nice and tidy in your workspace because you don't want to be one of those guys that can't find their tools. Yeah, I've been there, done that, and I hate it, and y'all hate it too, I know that. But, it is finished. It looks sick. $30, like I said before, which is amazing, man, which is amazing. We're gonna go check this guy out. I got some lighting now from, you know, look at the lighting difference. It's amazing. So, let's go look at this in a little bit more depth, and I can't wait to install the bags and mount everything in the back of this trunk. Whew, life is coming together. About to graduate. Gonna go to college with a fresh car that's fully built. Whew, only sad thing is I wish it was turboed. I wish it did was turboed. Eh. If anything, swap the engine. All right, let's go take a little bit more in depth tour of this guy. So you guys can see, perfectly laid out, nice trimming. You know, I was ex I was really nice and exact on it. It worked out really nice. The only thing is that, like this glue, it held out. The super glue held out a lot more better. And if you guys can see, there is a gap right here because I laid it out with the other thing, so it's not fully covering that. Now I'm actually gonna go to Lowe's or something and get some trim molding. My dad recommended it to me. Trim molding to go all around the sides and stuff like that so it just blends in a little bit better and you don't see those rough edges that you guys might get. But overall, man, from the back, look at this, guys. That is so sick. I can't believe what these working hands can do for a person. And shout out to all the people at my high school that actually watch me. I been getting a lot of people actually saying that they watch my videos and it's really warm inside and it's cool to experience that. But this is gonna be the end of our video and I can't wait to see part two of the bag setup, which is not gonna be soon, but it is gonna be soon. And I hope you guys do enjoy this video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. And I installed a nice light bar if that video is up first before this. Probably not. This is a way cooler video than a light bar. Don't get me wrong. So, I'll catch you guys in the next one. And deuces, people. I know a secret spot just for us. But you can see the city perfectly. We don't have to do drugs, kiss, or touch. But if you want to, that works for me. We can both pretend it's the first time. Like we don't know what heartbreak feels like Like we ain't ever watched everything we love burn to Yo, what's up guys? I hope you guys enjoyed my flawless video here 
please hit that subscription in the left corner and check out my videos on the right. I hope you guys do enjoy my videos. I love creating them for you. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Deuces, people.